In this video, we're gonna make Espanol sauce, which is also known as brown sauce, and then we're gonna turn that Espanol or brown sauce into demi. So, the first thing that we need to do is we need to start by browning our mirepoix. So I'm gonna add my clarified butter, which will also be used once our vegetables are browned to make our roux. I'm gonna add that to my pan. I'm just gonna let that melt a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my vegetables. So this is my mirepoix, my carrots, onions, and celery. All right, I'm gonna cook these on about medium high heat uh, until we get a nice uh, brown color on them. Um, we don't wanna turn the heat up too much and burn them. Uh, we want that nice rich brown color, not the bitter uh, flavor that we're going to get um, if we uh, cook them too fast and burn them. So this will take about 10 minutes. Uh, we'll check back in then and, and look at the vegetables and go on from there. All right, so uh, it's been just a little over 10 minutes uh, and we've gotten some color on our mirepoix. Uh, so this is the color that we're going for here. Just starting to get a little bit of brown. You can see some of our onions and carrots uh, are starting to brown and this is what we wanna see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my heat down uh, just a little bit uh, from uh, about medium high just down to a medium. And what I'm gonna do now is I wanna go ahead and add my flour. Uh, to make my roux. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly stir in my flour. Don't wanna let it sit and form lumps. So incorporate this flour into the butter and vegetable mixture. And now I need to make a brown roux. Uh, brown roux are gonna take uh, a good amount of time to make uh, and we can't rush them. So we don't wanna just turn up that heat so hot um, that we're gonna burn the flour because instead of having that really dark, uh, nice flavor that we're going for, um, we would get a bitter burnt flavor that we don't want. So I'm gonna just uh, continue to occasionally stir uh, this vegetable uh, mixture with my roux uh, until we get to that brown roux color and we'll check back in then. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes and we have uh, a nice brown roux. And you can see here when I uh, look at my roux. Uh, you know, the vegetables have a really nice brown color to them, uh, as does the roux itself. It almost has like a dark peanut butter color, and that's just what we want. When we smell it, we don't have any of that, uh, that burnt uh, bitter smell. We have a really, no, uh, really toasty smell uh, going on, uh, and that's what we want to see. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our hot liquid to our hot roux. So we're gonna remove our roux from the heat. We have our hot liquid, and in a steady stream, we're gonna add our liquid while whisking quickly. We wanna make sure that we don't get any lumps. If we just poured this in and let it set, we would get lumps. So we need to stir as we pour in our liquid. And notice again, when I'm stirring, I'm going all the way around the corners, okay, across the bottom to make sure I don't leave any uh, pockets or lumps of roux. All right. all right, now that my stock is in, I'm gonna go back over the heat. I'm gonna add in my tomato paste, excuse me, my tomato sauce. And finally, my sachet. So I'm gonna add my sachet in and tie it off just onto my handle pan here loosely. All right, this needs to simmer for between an hour uh, and two uh, until it has uh, thickened to the nappe stage. So we'll check back in then. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half. Uh, our sauce has reduced quite a bit and we have a really nice light nappe texture uh, to our sauce. So this is where uh, I'm gonna stop our, our Espanol or Demi. So what we need to do is use our uh, chinois strainer uh, and strain out the sauce. We're gonna go ahead and remove the sachet. Just press that against the side of the pot here. Get any of the extra liquid out.
We'll just use our rubber spatula to help work the espanol through the chinois. What I don't want to do is I don't want to like aggressively push on the mirepoix that's uh, in our chinois here. I'm not trying to get the vegetable puree out. I'm just trying to lightly push out any of the uh, brown sauce or espanol that's still within that demi-gloss. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more little push here. Perfect. Okay. So here's my espanol. You can see it's nicely smooth, a very, very light nappe, just clinging to that rubber spatula. So probably the most common uh, application for Espanol sauce is to turn it, turn it into demi-gloss. Uh, demi-gloss is a reduction sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, half part of Espanol sauce and half part of brown stock, and then we're going to reduce by half. Because this is a reduction sauce, we're concentrating those flavors. So it's gonna be especially important that we use a nice quality uh, bone broth or stock, uh, as well as a uh, Espanol or brown sauce um, that was of high quality because we're just gonna to continue to concentrate those flavors. So I have my equal parts of Espanol and brown sauce. This needs to reduce by half, probably gonna take and somewhere in the hour, hour and a half range. So once we're where we wanna be, I'll check back in with you. So it's been approximately an hour and a half and our combined brown sauce or espanol and uh, beef stock uh, have reduced by half to make a demi-glace. So you can see the really nice rich color that we've gotten as well as that nice rich texture. So because we didn't season uh, our Espanol sauce uh, before, we now need to go ahead and season our demi. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of salt and pepper. Again, I'm always gonna use a little less than I think I need, because I can always add more, but really difficult once you've added too much. Go ahead and incorporate. Yeah, maybe just one more little sprinkle here. I want to make sure that I taste after every uh, addition of seasoning or new ingredient. Perfect. All right, and this is a really beautiful demi glass. So let's review. For a full rich flavor when making Espanol or brown sauce, Start by browning the vegetables. Next, Espanol or brown sauce relies on brown roux. Don't try to force the roux. Let it cook on medium, nice and slow to get the desired color. Finally, because demi-glace, and in many ways Espanol, is a reduction sauce, we rely on the concentration of those flavors for our sauce. So start with a high quality stock and end with a high quality demi-gloss.